Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. In this video, we will be doing activity 10.3, question number 4. The question says that, write down a logic expression for each of the following truth tables. In this question, you have given two truth tables. If you see here, part A and part B. And from these two tables, you have to find out or write the logic expression for them. So let's start with part A. I'm hiding part B for this for now. Once I finish part A, then we will see the truth table for part B. Okay, so here we go. The first thing by looking at the truth table, you have when you have to produce a logic expression from truth table, the first thing that you have to do is just see the column of your output and circle all those values that has one all those rows mark them one two three these are the three rows that has an output value one now you have to write down the logic expression for each of these rows there will be three logic expressions since you have three rows with output value 1. Let's say it is row 1, it is row 2, it is row 3. Let me just number it. So, let's quickly do it for row 1. In row 1, the value of A is 0, the value of B is 0 and the value of C is also 0. So remember that if the value of your input is 0, you have to write down it with a NOT operator or NOT logic gate. You will write it NOT A, NOT B and NOT C. Once you do that, then you have to join them with an AND gate. NOT A joined with AND, NOT B and NOT B joined with another AND with NOT C. This is what you have to do for draw 1. Now let's move towards raw 2. For raw 2, write down inputs. A is 1, B is 0 and C is also 0. So the expression will become for A, just write down A as it is. Why? Because the value of A is 1. For B, write down not B since the value of B is 0 and for C also write down not C since its value is 0. Now you have to join them with AND logic gate A and not B and not C. This is done for row 2. Now row 3. Okay. Row 3 says that the value of A is 1 the value of B is 0 and the value of C is also 1. So write down A as it is. For B, you have to write not B. And for C, you have to write C as it is since the value of C is 1. And then you have to join them with AND gate. Okay, so we are done with individual rows. Now the final step is to join all of these expressions. For this, what you have to do, you have to join them. First, write all of these together. Let me write it here. The final logic expression. For the final version, first write down the logic expressions individually for each of these rows. Row 1 raw 2, raw 3. Remember these are the rows that has output value 1. So it becomes not A and not B and not C. This is raw 1 right in the bracket. Then raw 2 is a and not B and not C. Write it down. A 
and not b and not c write it in the bracket for row 2 and then finally for row 3 it is a and not b and c write down in the bracket a and not b and c once you are done with writing all of these three expressions the final thing you have to do is join them with or operator so you will write one or here and one or here this is how you have to find out the final expression for the logic for the truth table given to you we are done with part a now let's move towards part b part b is will be done the same way let me quickly show you that okay so this is part b let's start working for this considering the rows that has a value output value 1 there are four rows with output value 1 let me write it as row 1 row 2 row 3 and row 4 now what you have to do first write down the individual expressions for row 1 then you will be writing for row 2 then you will be writing for row 3 and finally you will be writing for row 4 so let's write down for row 1 row 1 has values 0 0 1 so it means it will be a with a not not a then not b and then c as it is this is for row 1 and remember that you will be connecting not a not b and c with and gates a and d and a and d and so we are done with row 1 now let's move towards row 2 let me erase it from here and write down just down here okay so for row 2 the input values are 0 1 0 0 1 0 so it becomes not a b as it is and not c and remember that write down and operator between them a and d a and d remember to join these input values with and gate now let's do for this is raw one this is raw two let's do for raw three for raw three the values we have are one zero one one zero one it means a will be written as it is b with not b and c as it is and finally you have to join them with and and we are done with row 3 now finally do the same thing for row row 4 row 4 for row 4 the values we have are 110 if you see the root table so 110 means it will be a b and for c it becomes not c and join all of them with end gate and finally once you are done with all of these rows row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 the final step is to join all of these logic expressions through an OR gate. The final logic expression. So here it is. Write down row 1, OR gate, row 2, OR gate, row 3, OR gate and row 
4 that's it so this is what you have to do actually for draw 1 write down it is not a and not b and c i hope that you are getting my point so we are done with draw 1 then we will write or let me write down here so it will be easier for us to see for raw 2 it is not a and b and not c then another or gate join all of these expressions through or gates for raw 3 it is a and not b and c then you have another or gate and the final is raw 4 which is a and b and not c so this is your final logic expression for part b we are done with question number four this is your part a and this is your part b thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel in the next video we will be doing question number five bye bye